Hello, I'm DeathSeeker512, and in this tutorial, I will show you some other cool things that you can do with blocks. So, have you ever seen a torch, which if you play Minecraft, and you should probably have, that's why you're here, you've seen that a torch, or lava, or glowstone, emits light. Well, that's quite simple, really. If we go to the... If we do set light value, and change it to a float value between 0, that 0, F, and 1, that 0, F, we will create light with that block. And I don't know why I'm going at the tone I am. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Uh, other things you can do is set the light opacity. Um, I don't think I really talked about resistance. And tick randomly is a little bit more advanced. So, I'll go through and explain a couple of these. Well, set block unbreakable is kind of... Yeah. <laughs> self-explanatory said hardness makes it to where it's like the speed or how many hits as it says here it takes to break a block the light opacity is okay it's going to tell us over here anyway since how much light is blocked going through this block how much light is blocked going through this block returns the object for convenience oh so like glass will have I'm guessing a lower opacity set and then the set light value the amount of light between 0 and 1 converts internally to 1 through 15 returns the object for convenience and constructing resistance is the resistance to explosions the set step sound is sound whenever you step over it Tick randomly sets whether the block will receive a random update tick, so with that you can do like how redstone is, well, no, not, no, like this would be good for plants. And then set unlocalized name sets the name that it's going to be calling to. And I don't know what just happened, oh, there's two dots. <laughs> Okay, so now if we run Minecraft with this set light value to 1. And then run Forge, which I'll come back after. Not Forge, but Minecraft. I'll come back after I get to the world. As soon as I can click the button. Okay, and now that it's in the middle of the night. I don't know why that happens, but it does. But on the bright side, we have light. See, light. And a creepy face smiling at you as well. All right, so an issue I've seen is whenever you like place a block and then close Minecraft, get rid of the light value. Then go back into Minecraft, the light's still here. But enough of that. Now let's play with the opacity setting. So it doesn't give you 0, .0 F. Whatever. What? Why is there an error? Oh, I see. Zero. Oh, I see, because it's in it. Not a float. <laughs> My bad. Now if we run Minecraft, or if I run Minecraft, or whoever's running Minecraft. And now that I'm back into Minecraft, and I've got to click it. <laughs> and if I place a block down, well, let me grab glowstone while I'm in here. Glowstone. Hey, look, there's glowstone. Okay, and if I place this block here, 
Then I placed a glowstone on top of it. And now I'm going to surround it with glowstone. I wanted to get it the top before. Eesh. And the last side. Okay, that did exactly what I thought. There's still light coming around it. Now I'm gonna see what modifying it does. So let me just break the glowstone actually. And throw this block there, and then that block there. I will get out of Minecraft and see you in a second. And now I'll set it to one and be back in a second again. And I'm back in. And it still did it. <laughs> but I clicked this time. Alright, and now if I place it. Well... I don't see a difference. Maybe distance. I don't know. How far is that? Nope, I don't know. Or maybe these still have the same properties the block before it. I don't know, I'm weird. <laughs> well, not there. Okay, there should have definitely been a change there. Um I'll tell you what it does in a second. Okay, so it's how much light can get through. So, now if you look in here, over here, you can see that the glowstone is completely covered, and yet there's still a little bit of light showing through. However, I had to change it up to 5, but yes, the glowstone is there. Booyah. Alright, I don't know why I said that. Now, as you notice it, well, if I get into, the survival mode, and then I mine this, it only drops itself. But what if you want something that's like redstone ore, where it drops redstone instead of the block? Well, here's how to do that. Okay, so here in the tutorial block, what you can do is you can do public int and then id dropped and then in parentheses int par1 int no random Rand, and then int par 2, which I have got no clue what the 2, the par 1, par 2 do, but if you could do control shift O to import the random, oh, return 0, and then you have to import random, but yeah, what this does is it says, okay, so on whenever it breaks, we are going to drop a certain ID. And right now it's going to drop the ID of zero. But we don't want zero. If we want to drop the block, we can do this dot block ID. That way if you have like multiple subclasses of this one thing instantiated with top block, it will actually drop the block where we have different or multiple different kinds of that particular block like because of the whole location thing however if you want to spawn a vanilla item block you can do block dot and then the block and then dot 
block ID. However, if you want to do a vanilla, which, give me a second, item, what you can do is item dot, then the item, and then dot item ID. So, just for the heck of it, I will do item dot diamond dot item ID and then if you want to set how many that is dropped you can do public int quantity q u a n t okay dropped and then it takes random rand return zero and so this would drop zero at all time at all times but what if we wanted to drop a random number oh let's say between seven and ten what we can do is random whoa wait this is supposed to be a lowercase my bad what we can do is rand dot next int and then what I like to do is the um, maximum number so let's no not uh, yeah 50 and then plus one no, not plus one. <laughs> Minus the minimum number, so 25. And then you can do plus the minimum number. That way it stays between 25 and 50. It will actually do 25. And yeah, but if you want to have a specific number just remember that you want the top number to be one more than the maximum number so now this will drop anywhere between 25 and 50 diamonds so now if we run the game okay and now I have set this for the this demo And I will first drop all the other stuff. And show you what I've got set up here. So I'm pretty sure you guys know what the hopper does, even though it just came out. Unless if you are watching this video from the future. In which case, I'm surprised you're still watching this video. <laughs> Alright. And then... Q... 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 Of course, hoppers throw it all into this chest. Like a conveyor belt. Alright, so... Now... I have placed several... Of the block we just... Well, that we've made. And I will show you what they drop and between what they drop between how many do they drop so I just broke that and I now realize this entire setup is going to be terrible and this might take a minute okay so in the first break we got 50 which is our max which surprises me. Which now is making me wonder. Hmm. Okay, so since that setup is obviously not going to be working. Well, there's a hole. <laughs> I'll do it from this side. And I'll not break that one, I'll break this one. Methodically. No, it sucks all of them, which makes me mad. And then in here, 
we have three, which now makes a total of 32. Cool. Throw that over there. So obviously it's randomly creating between our two values, 24 plus whatever drops in here. Oh, well, our minimum, 25. Who would have guessed? And of course, this mod is definitely overpowered right now, so I would not suggest you having it drop 25 blocks at diamonds. Unless if it takes that many diamonds to get it. And then this one, 25 plus 5 is 30. And so you get the idea. So far, just breaking the blocks, we have a stack in almost two. So let me break the rest of the block. You know, finding diamonds really hard. Uh, they're taking forever to find diamonds. Yeah, that's just a thing of the past. Now, the diamonds come instantly. Okay, any of these have it? There's 27 in here. Why isn't it going then? <laughs> and 17 in here. Wow. Now it's got me worrying. Oh boy. What have it been doing 50 the entire time? <laughs> I will... Oh, because it doesn't... I feel smart. Okay, so... Ah, uh, well, that's an even stack. So I will... Do... this. Whoa, not that. What the? Okay. Mm. Okay. And now I'm back in survival. And so I break this block, and I get 41. And then if I break this block, I get 37. Hmm. Wow, that's not the same as what 41 was. And if I break this one, 43. So obviously they are all different every, well, not every time because it's only like 25 different numbers it could be. And well, that's it for this tutorial. If it helped you at all, which it probably didn't like it. And if you want to see more by me, subscribe. Thank you and goodbye.